okay so last week at the last lesson at the fifth lesson we were learning how to clean the water the water the biggest library for us in the body and for the world so after doing the cleansing of the water and transformation by the code remember the codes we I asked you to find uh, new words to replace the old one, the traumas, the fear. And after finding the words, please text it to me, email it to me, or that I will know what do you need, what are the words that you need. And I will write it by the code because the code is made of Hebrew. Uh, it's by the Hebrew words. So I will do it up until I'll find a way to teach it to you. And what I did for myself, I wrote with the, with the codes words like love, uh, abundance, health, um, good relationship. I wrote all those words and I am drinking from this glass. And this is how I am activating the water in my body Af with the new words this is what you need to remember okay so prepare yourself a glass and just do it you can put it in a big um, can and uh, just pour for it for all the family i have a family that the children are so excited to drink from it and they're telling everybody that this is uh, water with the secret code. So <laughs> they are drinking, first they are drinking a lot and it's good and they love it and they enjoy it and they are very into, enthusiastic about it and I think that when you bring the water in this way to your body it's only happiness. So try it. This is one. Okay, now I'm reminding you please to start with the meditation so go to the meditation and then come back to me because we are starting. Put me on, on pause and then continue. Perfect. So we are back. To start our meditation for today, let us just breathe together from three to one. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale, one, inhale, exhale. We are in the same surface and today we are going to clear the nine rooms of feelings. So we cleared the water, we worked with several chakras. Today we are going to the main one, it's the nine, it's the nine rooms of feelings. The nine rooms of feelings are located behind the heart and it's about our emotions and how to work them out. So imagine that you're standing here and this is to your right. So to your right we are starting with the first room, the diamond room. The second room is the room of fear. And the third room is the room of the soul. So we are going to enter to those, to those three rooms. So we are starting to inhale and exhale from three to one. That we will be at the same surface. Inhale, exhale, two, inhale, Exhale, one, inhale, exhale. Today we are going to enter to the nine rooms of feelings. I will explain in a moment. In able to enter this space, we need to open the chakra, the green chakra. It is located in the heart. So gaze at the sign, at the key and put it in your heart and turn it counterclockwise and come in 
look at it, turn it in your imagination, counterclockwise, it's in your clockwise, in your, in your heart, and enter. When we are entering, there is a corridor that leads to a room. It looks like a, uh, a room in a hospital, and there is a bed in the middle. You are laying on that bed, and six healers are coming to uh, work with you. One stand uh, above your head, one stands in front of your legs, two stands to your left, two stands to your right. They are all sending beams of light to you with the key of health. They are creating vertical and horizontal like a net all your body while they are working on your health and continue to clean and to uh, vital your body we are going with our consciousness behind the heart and we are arriving to the lobby that leads to nine rooms that are located three three to the right three in front and three to the left. Today we will work only with those three. The first three that we are going to enter are the diamond room, the fear room, and the soul. Next session will be others, but we are starting from the most uh, heavy things. So imagine that you are standing in the lobby and opening the first door to the diamond room. When the door is open, you see a huge diamond from floor till ceiling. And this diamond is has part of it bright, most of it is like gray, like a smoky, uh, like with smoke. And all this smoke is from hurt uh, situations in your life, that you were hurt by others, that you were um, feeling very, very victim of a situation. So we are starting with this. Imagine that you are standing with your back to the diamond and you look ahead of you and you are inviting all the people and situations that you were hurt, that you were, that you are in a very uh, place of uh, low emotions. Now, look at them. Invite your higher self to that she or he will be next to you and support you because it's a very. Uh, difficult moment to be in this situation just if you are feeling like to cry it's okay just let it out because it's time to let go it's time to let go of those feelings and to let go of those people and to understand that when we are letting go there is a lot of space for us to create new things and not to work on a loop all the time, being hurt again, being hurt again, we don't need it. So you are standing in front of all those people and you are saying, repeat after me, I am taking all my energy back from each and from each one of you and you see all your energy coming and enters to a light, to, a, to the pink river, cleared, and goes to the diamond, and you are continuing. And I am giving you your energy back. And you see, like, all the smoke energy, all the black energy, all the feeling of hurt is going to the pink river, cleared, and each one is receiving his or her part. Now you are saying, I am releasing you with great love. Again, I am releasing each one of you with great love. 
without being attached to you and without you be attached to me ever. See how they're going. Just turn your back and look at the diamond. See how the diamond is bright and beautiful. Embrace this light. We are coming again to the room. You are bringing this light and lying in the entering to your body because your body is there all the time. Bringing all this light in. The healers are assisting you to bring all the light in. And when you feel this calmness, you are sitting grateful to the healers and coming out from this room. Close it, please. Clockwise. Thank you. This is one room. Only the one, the first one out of nine. The second one. The second one is the room of fear. What does it mean, the room of fear? There is each one of us has one fear that it's an extreme fear for him. Everybody thinks that what I fear of the most is what the other one fears, but it's not the same. Each one of us has this fear. So, just breathe in and open this door. Enter inside. You will see a black hole. You will see nothing. It's okay, stand there and call your fear to come out, that you will recognize it, that you will see it. It can be all kinds. It can be a monster or it can be a car or it can be whatever. Let, let it show to you. When the fear comes, remember, you are the one created this fear from the first place. It, you had your reasons. Now you need to speak with your fear and to create something that will drive you. Fear is blocking you. You cannot do anything. You are like, like ice. And if you will talk with the fear and transform it to something bright, it will give you the, the, the power to make things, to move, to flow. So, speak with your fear and ask it what it wants to change to and what will help you the most. If you are not courageous, maybe courage or maybe fate or if you are depressed, maybe joy or maybe love, just look at it. It's a very, very important that you will recognize your fear and that you will embrace it because you were the one created it. Don't think that it's some, someone else. Nothing in your, in your library is by someone else, only the incarnation, and they belong to the soul too, that this is part of you, what can you do? So, just look at the fear. Say thank you for letting this fear frighten you all the time because there is a reason for it. It's gone, done. So, transform it. Transform it to become your best friend to become your assistant, to become something that you need the most, to move on with your goals, move on with your purpose and manifest it to the best. You have to come out from this room with your best friend, like with the best thing ever. I can see. It's like it's like a present and the room becomes light instead of the black it becomes light and you know that you have a friend and you know that you have an ass a assistance and you come out from there so relieved 
And this is what you need to do. The last for today is the soul. Wow, the soul. You're entering this room. You see, you're entering this room. And you see a beautiful room. Each one of, like, you will imagine what is a beautiful room for you. Like with light and with abundance and with joy. And you are meeting your soul. So beautiful. Here, there is nothing to clean because the soul gave all the libraries, everything, and the soul remain with just joy. Ask your soul what he or she wants the most. What is the passion of your soul? Just look at her or him, listen. If you feel like to hug your soul, hug. If you feel like to kiss, kiss, because really this is the most important thing in your being. This is what entered to your life, to your body when you are conceived. And this is what leaves the body when you are dead. It is the most important part of your body. So just love it and ask what, what does she or he wants. Because when the soul want something and you participating by fulfilling it, it's 100% success. So just be tuned to your soul. This is the best you can do. Perfect. Perfect. When you are feeling that you're good, step out from the room, farewell, know that you can go there whenever you want and do the same thing like with the diamond, with the fear if there is a new one coming or if you want to consult with your friend, just go there. If you, to, if you want to consult with your soul, just go there. Those are three very important storages. Just be there, come out. Come out from the green room and bless everyone. And let us breathe from one to three. Inhale, exhale. Beautiful. Two, inhale, exhale. Three, inhale, exhale. All the things that you you are going back to your body and I'm to mine. All the things that you experience today, bring them to the water. We will continue to work with the water in the next session. Meanwhile, do this meditation as much as you can. End the meditation with the water. And prepare your glass. See you next week. Bye-bye.